Hello, welcome to demonstration of proximity transducer verification. The proximity transducer basically comprises of three components. The proximity probe, extension cable, and the proximeter. The first step for verifying a proximity transducer system, is to measure the resistance of the extension cable and probe. The normal resistance should be between 7 and 11 ohms depending on the system length. The datasheet for the transducer system, lists the resistance values for the available probe length. Before moving on to the next step of verification, we should be knowing the definition of scale factor. The scale factor is the response of the transducer to target distance in mils or millimeters compared to the output voltage. So, the scale factor of a transducer is defined as the change in output, per change in input. Therefore, for a proximity displacement system, the average scale factor is the change in voltage divided by the change in displacement, across the linear range of transducer system. The linear range of 8 mm proximeter system is 0.254 mm to 2.286 mm. So the average scale factor equals 7.87 volts per millimeter. The average scale factor will be mentioned in the proximeter. The incremental scale factor indicates the incremental variances within the linear range of the transducer. For example, if we see the chart shown here, ISF for step 3 will be 7.96 volts per mm. The steps to verify the scale factor and how this chart is derived will be explained further in this video. As per American Petroleum Institute Standard 670, these are the variance limits specified for ASF and ISF. To verify the ASF and ISF, we need three apparatus. A micrometer, which is available in the TK3 kit. A precise multimeter and a 24 volt DC source. The probe has to be mounted in the micrometer, and the probe has to be connected to the proximeter through an extension cable. Power up the proximeter by 24 volt DC supply, and connect the multimeter leads to the output terminal. While connecting 24 volts DC supply, ensure the power supply polarity is shown in video. The multimeter leads are connected to the out, and COM, terminals of the proximeter. Set the zero of micrometer when the target plate gently touches the probe. You can hear the click sound when the target plate touches the probe tip. Note down the voltage reading. To enter in the verification chart. This is the verification chart, prepared with Microsoft Excel. Enter the voltage measured for every 0.25 mm increments starting from 0 up to 2.75 mm, which will cover the linear range of transducer. Enter the voltage value measured for zero gap. Note down the voltage values in 0.25 mm increments and enter in the verification chart. The calculated ISF and ASF is displayed in the Excel sheet. When all the steps are complete, if the ISF and ASF are within specified limits, the proximity transducer system is verified OK.